The Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, episode 88. Forward, forward. It is said, or I read, that General Ulysses S. Grant would never go backwards. Yet he was sort of superstitious about it. It's always forward, 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 round, forward, forward, wait. Forward. So we're going to press forward here on this build. I am now at another stopping place, going slow and low. I am waiting now for a gold pickup. This was antique nickel. Uh, I'm not sure if CB Giddy had antique brass that was sort of more this gold color, but what he did have was out of stock. So, and I'm also waiting for, I just got, I got an order yesterday from CB Giddy and I misordered some things. These need to be gold and not chrome. This needs to not be snickel, but gold. So, but these came out right. I got these glue. I got these drilled out. And I do have this hole drilled out, so that's good. That's I'm going to see inside is in there. I'm going to pull this apart in a second. So anyways, got some things set up. I've got the... Let's discover... Shall we? Higgins. The only time I remember the word Higgins is like when I was like, what, 11. Higgins, remember Magnum P.I.? Do you know who Magnum P.I. is? <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I woke up out of a time warp. Higgins, this is India ink. That's cool. It came from CB Giddy. Oh! No, I don't have plastic gloves right now. So I'm going to use these. Let's see what happens. So this is the color that it was. This is the color that the black, classic black min wax did. Let's see what this does. Dude, this is getting it black. Little gold screws in here for the position markers in the center. Small gold screws inset. And then I did the same thing here on the side. Again, these are all per the customer's request to have small gold position markers in the cigar boss guitar fashion using what we have little mini screws you can use little mini nails but I like the idea that these are inset in here I mean you can feel them slightly just because of the nature of the way they're in there but I do have them inset to the hardwood so they look good and I have the tuners installed today So those came out really good. Got them accentuated with the purple, black, and then the gold to sort of tie back into the color scheme. Now this is curious. I didn't plan this, but the heavy horse, the HH55, those colors were black and gold. Do you remember? Did you see episodes 81, 82, 83, and 84? It was for the Colonel, black and gold. So this one wasn't a copycat. This just, it's the way it unfolded. And I'm actually realizing that right now. <laughs> so let's take him apart real quick and show you the inside. And we will... Let's see here. Blacker than black. Mm. 
I don't know if this is going to wipe off or not. Hopefully that dark black stays. The side. I'm putting it on real thick and I'm going to let it sit for a while so it really soaks in there. Now, I don't know if that's going to soak in there because I've already finished it with something. Now, these top screws are important because they're going to hold the box together. So I just installed these. These are important before you go drilling in here to measure out exactly where they need to go. Because remember, when you're drilling through here, one of the reasons why I shored up the corners was so you could have something to drill into. So if you just randomly put them on the corner right here, there'd be nothing in there. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So, opening him up. He looks like this right now. I'm going slow and low. So today, We'll start with the neck. Today, I got the spring installed. If you put your ear up to this, and you go, if you put your ear up to this, and you go, you can hear the springs in there real good. Can you hear that? You put your ear up to the phone, put your ear up to the, your phone or your TV. Watch, I'm gonna smack it. Can you hear that? I'll put it on there. Okay, whatever, you get the idea. I went to, why? Because if it's too much, unpop it. So, just got a screw here. You can just unhook them. I put an extra on purpose hole here in case I needed to move the screw around the pickup, but I didn't need to. So yeah, this guy right here, Got the neck as black as I can get it. Ebony India ink. So this is all discovery. This was a sand, this was a stain, sand the stain off, no, this was a sand, stain, India ink. I realized India ink will not penetrate the wood if you already have a finish on it. Duh. So this morning when I went to clean it off, the India ink came off on my rag. This was my favorite washcloth. Whatever will I wash my dishes with now? So I sanded it down, re India inked it, then refinished it. Now I can't bling in. So this guy's done. He's ready to be installed. He's going to dry and get nice. This is ready to go. All the holes have been, all the holes have been drilled. This has been installed to get ready for the string throughs. This has been notched out. This has been carved out. This has been glued. See, see where my, my screw holes are here for the corners in here. See, so you measured it. So then I got this, the hole right there, right there. What was that? That was three millimeters. This one right here was three millimeters. Why? Cause see how far away it is from here to here. Where is, my, where is my, this is really weird trying to yap and do this. From here to here is a different measurement than this one up here. From here to here was two millimeters. From here to here was three millimeters. That one detail would have set this screw a whole different way. Slow and low, Bray. And then inside here, I ordered this gentleman a nice gold used Epiphone humbucker. It's gonna to come to me 
Lord willing, soon from Illinois. And hopefully it'll fit right in this harness. It's always something with these things, so we're well, just going to keep our hopes alive that it just drops right in there. And then, of course, I was going to just keep this chrome and then do a gold screw in there, but I went ahead and took it to a different level and just went ahead and ordered gold strap locks. I don't normally use these anymore. I use my eye hooks, but this kindly gentleman window straps. So that's that. That's the update. I don't, well, I don't know if it's an update. That's just a forward, forward, pressing forward, not getting overwhelmed. If you're just starting building cigar box guitars, there's so much to do. You can get overwhelmed quick, especially when you have a whole bunch of other things in your life to do. Remember, this is just a hobby and it's a fun one. It's a creative way to keep the juices flowing. But when you're wrestling around with back angles and you got to weave this stuff in here and make sure you can open the box back up and make sure you're not hitting wires and you're not drilling through piezo discs and get your screw holes in the right, you know, corners. And this one's two millimeters. This one's three millimeters. And then you realize that you had or hoping to use these antique corners, fancy schmancy. Nope. Well, maybe I can, we'll see. But you'd have to put this on first and then this on because they're gonna touch. But I do have another, I do have other antique brass corners I got for this that are smaller. Those are right here. So these should fit on here. And these are the ones I was going to use anyways. Yeah. Perfecto. So, but my point of saying that is sometimes you'll plan things out, but then when you actually remember it's form, it's function, then form. Like don't go putting all your appointments and all your beautification corners on here until you get the bulk of what needs to be done. Like this pickup right here. He wanted a fretboard extension. And if I wouldn't have planned this right, this pickup would have been forward anyways. <laughs> Slow and low. And then you can get it done. All right. That's all. That's all. Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen, episode 88. Forward, forward. I'm going to do a full pause on this as I now await the pickup. When the pickup comes, it's pretty much install the pickup and then put it all together. I got the pre-wired harness, so the wiring shouldn't be a big, a big hot mess. should be just a matter of pop, pop touch, touch, heat, heat, touch, touch, and then zip it all up. And then we'll go to the, the most fun part of all of this is writing a song on it and playing it. Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen number 56, episode 88. That's it. Now we shall see how this dries. I've never used India ink to stain a fretboard. Let's see if this gets as black as the man in black. You know the man in black is, don't you? C, A, S, H. Did you dig it? The Hot Sauce Guitar Kitchen is not necessarily looking for subscribers. 
and for likes. Just glad you stopped by to say hi.